weeks. They're all blue, man. What the? F all right, guys, we're at episode number three of Jack Track Reviews. Kevin Frizzard here. And actually, I just pulled up Pig Destroyer right now, and they got another uh, track that they just put up, uh, Relapse Records put up three days ago, so I'm going to check that out. And then uh, we're going to talk about this. But uh, what really pushed me to do this next episode is um, I got a question from Thomas Vasquez. It says, Kevin, would love to hear your opinion on the new Pig Destroyer album when it finally drops. Sounds like a totally different beast just from the singles they've released. I can't agree more, man, and we're going to talk about that. So I'm going to check this track out, and then I'm going to get back to you guys. All right, I just listened to the track, and I want to listen to it again, actually, just to get a better assessment on how I really feel about it. The song is called Mount Skull, by the way. All right, so a brief summary in case you guys aren't familiar with who Pig Destroyer is. They formed in Virginia in the late 90s. Their founding members, you had vocalist J.R. Hayes, guitarist Scott Hall, and then they had a drummer before uh, they had Brian Harvey on the drum kit. So they were a three-piece band. Now I guess they have a bass player and brought in Blake Harris, Sampleus, which is I don't know whatever. Why you'd bring in a sampler for grindcore? I don't really see it's necessary. So the band has definitely gone through different phases throughout their career. First two records, 38 Counts of Battery, and then followed up with Prowler in the Yard was like some of the heaviest, most relentless stuff I've ever heard. I mean, the first time I ever heard Pig Destroyer, I'm like, man, what is this? This is intense. You know, it had like that dirty, almost like, I don't want to say awful, but you guys understand what I'm saying, where the mids are turned way up, like the guitars are just in your face, just pounding blast beats, like a really poppy, cracky snare right in your face. And some of the most terrifying highs you've ever heard from a vocalist, J.R. Hayes was just it was just nuts it was insane then you got onto the album terrifier where his voice was still it was still up there but you started to kind of see like a decline once you got to phantom limb which was followed up after that and then uh, it was almost like his voice was i guess tired or it was just worn out also with phantom limb you started to see songs that were going into the two to three minute mark longer songs a little more on the thrashier side like slayer elements stuff like that and it kind of kicked up the notch on the groove element in their music as well and everybody had to wait about five years before book burner came out which pretty much went back in the other direction they brought in misery index drummer adam jarvis the guy's a, just a powerhouse he's just relentless probably one of the sickest drummers out there to be honest brought in some guest vocalists you had cat cats from agoraphobic nosebleed which i think that she just stole the show on that album it just really added an intensity to the songs that she was on sorry guys i'm getting a little off track let's get back to where we were at with this song so this song is called mount skull and uh no, I like it. <laughs> I really do, man. Uh, I listened to it twice. And, uh, you know, those first two releases that came out with that song, uh, Army of Cops, and then whatever the other song was called, I can't remember. But um, those ones were a little disappointing, to be honest. I mean, it wasn't my taste. Um, it was definitely a big departure. So with this song, I'm hearing a little bit of a blend where they're taking elements of Terrifier and Phantom Limb and they're kind of combining them together. So I really enjoyed this track. Um, the only thing that I notice about this particular sound that they're going for is um it's a little too polished for my taste i mean when i think of grindcore i think of like i said dirty awful just basically what i'm trying to say is it just sounds a little overproduced for my liking for grindcore but i still enjoyed it quite a bit and the video is actually pretty funny so you guys need to check it out like again the song's called mount skull check it out the song had a lot of really good riffing a lot of good grooves so i mean you can get into it definitely it was it was a really good track i was surprised i was not expecting to like it i thought it was just gonna be like the other two tracks where i was just like yeah whatever so we'll see what the full length has to offer once that drops so that's gonna about do it for this video um leave some comments in there let's talk let's talk metal uh you have any suggestions i'll get to them um i was a little slow at getting uh another one of these track reviews out but i'm um, back in business we're on labor day weekend i got some time so if you like this video share it subscribe be some good bros give me some of those and keep coming back for more uploads talk to you guys later